Good morning. Welcome to the 7 a.m. update for our winter weather impacts for January 16th, 2024. Well, we continue on this hour with snowfall continuing to grow and develop over the New York City metro around Connecticut, northern New Jersey, and off towards northeastern Pennsylvania. We have snow continuing over central New Jersey, but we're starting to get signs of sleet mixing in. Right around Wrightstown, we're getting reports of sleet and snow. Uh, that's around uh, McQuarrie Air Force Base. And a little bit further south, we have overcast conditions, a little bit of break around Mount Holly. This is the real concern here. I know everyone loves to follow the snow, but the worst thing that can happen is freezing rain. And that's what's showing up right now in southern New Jersey, around Atlantic City. We're seeing freezing rain, temperature of 30 deg 31 degrees. So we need to warm up a little bit more. In my personal opinion, give me rain or snow, but you do not want freezing rain because it creates a lot of issues on the roadways, a lot of slips and falls. Uh, this is one of my primary concerns here. It's 29 degrees with freezing rain right around Millville. And currently around uh, Frio, New Jersey, it is 28 degrees. Why am I pointing that out? We're in the 20s and we're seeing ice. It's going to take some time to get us above freezing to get us to that rainfall if we ever do so that's going to lead to a wintry mix of ice it's showing up also in philadelphia getting sleet and freezing rain starting to show up now at 27 degrees so when you have sleet and freezing rain at 27 degrees that ice is not going to be melting very easily so this is going to be a major problem for the rush hour as we move on especially around the philadelphia metro around the new york city metro we continue on with light snow visibility around two and a half miles around newark uh, jfk we're seeing uh light snow again and let's see if we can zoom in a little bit towards laguardia and they're getting light snow visibility around two miles contact your airlines if you're flying out today because there's likely going to be some delays teterboro you have snow continuing as well these locations are less likely to see uh any type of wintry mix as you go further north uh, as these locations will remain as all snow so while we're watching that the radar is continuing to show areas of light to moderate snowfall showing up notice a little bit of intensification back here this is the back end of our storm this is the polar short wave that is trying to catch up to the front of genesis which is right here so while this is approaching, expect this area to start to blossom. And we're already starting to see signs of that right here in northern and northeastern Pennsylvania. So this precipitation will continue to, to evolve. We'll continue to have this wintry mix down here towards southern New Jersey, pushing towards the I-95 corridor, again, which is right about here. So what's driving all this? Well, we have our lifting here. This is at about 500 milliwatts. This is a PVA. This is the uh, polar shortwave diving towards the region. As we go lower in the atmosphere, front of Genesis is at 700 milliwatts. This isn't all that impressive, but we have this strong lifting back here. This feature right here is what's going to be the back end of our storm as we move on through the afternoon hours. At 850 millibars, we have pretty impressive front of Genesis again showing up here. This is all driven by the warm air trying to push northward here. And that's why we're seeing our wintry mix line trying to push northward with light to moderate snow to the north of it. At 9 to 25 millibars, we continue to see that strong warm air transport. That's pretty impressive. And the front of Genesis associated with that is very strong. So that's what's going to ignite some steady precipitation along the i-95 corridor as we move on through the morning now the other factor here is moisture and this is why i kind of stayed away from any type of enhanced totals around northeastern pennsylvania or extreme northern new jersey or the hudson river valley while the snow ratio is going to be high because we have plenty of cold air there isn't a lot of moisture to work with so yes you get plenty of light snow long periods of light snow but the accumulation rate is going to be pretty slow so thus far, the idea that, that was in place with this forecast is working out pretty nicely where your strongest lifting is associated right around the I-95 corridor. And that's why we're expecting that two to five inch snowfall totals by the time we are all set and done. One to three inches to the north, one to three inches on the coast where we get more of a mix of rain. So all of that is evolving pretty much as expected. And by the way, you can see the lifting really well 
on the infrared satellite picture. Look at this growth here. You see how the cloud tops are cooling? When you see these brighter colors, that means the cloud tops are cooling. The cloud tops are cooling because they're stronger lifting. So the colder the cloud top, the stronger the lifting, the stronger the lifting, the heavier the precipitation. So we're starting to see that. Expect probably in the next hour, we'll see that evolution of more precipitation growing as we move on through the morning hours. And again, going back to our HRR guidance, as the new guidance is coming out, we'll look at that next hour. You always want to give an hour with uh, mesoscale guidance just to make sure it's not doing anything crazy or unusual. Uh, so you can see here the evolution of our precipitation. Again, there'll be breaks from time to time, but it's still where there isn't breaks, you're getting some moderate to heavy precipitation showing up here. And then that continues on through noon. And then by the time we get to 3 p.m., we're pretty much all done for much of the metro areas. Connecticut and Long Island, you got until about 5.36 p.m. until you are all done. That's your update for this hour. We'll be back in the next hour.